Hi, my name is Elizabeth Griffin. I'm an indie author from the Philadelphia area, and I'm here today to talk to you about my experiences at the Romance Writers of America Conference 2019, which was held at the Marquise Marriott in New York City. I attended a workshop that was hosted by Hallmark Publishing, and I was shocked and amazed to find out that in addition to Hallmark having a movie channel and printing greeting cards and all the other sweet, delicious things that they do, they are now publishing romance novels. So they are looking for authors that will write for them, and their word count is 75,000 to 95,000 words. They are taking submissions from everyone uh, September 2019, that entire month. So they're accepting unsolicited work. They are selecting, or they're accepting work that uh, doesn't have to be represented by an agent. So me being an indie author, uh, that suits me fine because I'm not represented by an agent. I represent myself. So during that month, I will submit a manuscript for their consideration. Uh, I'd like some of you to join me in writing a novel in one month because uh, Hallmark Publishing doesn't take work that has been previously published. So all of my books that have been uh, printed or, uh, or, or e-books, they won't accept those. They want original work that hasn't been featured anywhere else. So join me for that. I'll be doing that in August. And then in September, the first part of September, I'll be editing and cleaning up my material. And hopefully, they will uh, select something that I've written to them. If not, I will keep trying because I'm considering becoming a hybrid author. And a hybrid is someone that self-publishes, but in addition to that, they work with a publishing company and they work with their agent. So you get the best of both, both worlds. I want to share with you their Hallmark Publishing's uh, romantic wish list. They are looking for romantic comedies. They are looking for a story that will hook you in the very beginning. They want cozy reads. They love Christmas stories. They don't accept paranormal or historical romance at this time, but they will take a romance novel, especially around Christmas, that has maybe a little bit of magic in it. They said they will accept that. They are looking for stories that feature uh, firefighters and men in military uniforms. They're looking for for writers uh, who are African American, who are Asian American, uh, Latino American, they want diversity. So if you don't even fall into those categories, they are looking for Native American, uh, Indigenous, you, uh, whatever your nationality is, please submit to them. Tell your story because it will connect with someone out there. We want a story for every girl or every guy or every person. We want to be. We want to repre represent the whole, uh, the wholeness of America, the wholeness of the world. And there are so many diverse. Uh, there's so many nationalities, there's so many races, there's so many different cultures. Uh, we want to see it all in writing. And um, it will allow me, as a writer, to experience other cultures and other ways of life. And they, in turn, can experience my life and my culture. They are also looking for stories featuring older women, such as myself. So they want stories about women in their 40s and their 50s. They also want secondary romance stories that feature couples that are six, uh, 65 and older. So please, please, please submit. I'm going to give you their website. It is www.hallmark.com publishing.com again www.hallmarkpublishing.com and if you want more specific information as far as their requirements for submitting a manuscript you would go to www.hallmarkchannel.com slash hallmark dash publishing slash write dash for dash us I hope this has been helpful to you. I plan on making more videos talking about romance writing, talking about uh, being an African-American romance writer, uh, and then just talking about writing in general, what it takes to be a, a writer, uh, what are some of the things that you need to do in order to succeed in this, in this business. And I also talk about self-publishing, which I've been doing for maybe, I don't know, 25, 30 years. I've been writing my whole life since I was like 13, but uh, I hope this helps you. Please follow me on social media. My Instagram is egrip. Griffin Gore, E G R I F F I N Gore G O R E. My Twitter is at the Scrub Series, 
and uh, you can find me on Facebook. I have three Facebook accounts, Elizabeth Griffin. So you should be able to find me and Elizabeth Griffin Gore. So please check me out. If you have any questions, uh, please contact me uh, through social media and I'll be glad to help you. Uh, and then until our next video, take care. I hope this has been helpful. Love. Bye-bye.